Now, if you don't love snow, I've got great news for you. It's not going to be a lot of snow. Uh, as we take a look at radar, we are tracking snow across southeastern portions of Nebraska, northern Kansas. This colder air, this is the cold front. This is going to move to the south. We're going to see showers out ahead of it. This is basically all just going to move south overnight tonight. And then behind it, the upper level system coming through, bring in more moisture with that snow shower activity coming in during the day tomorrow. So let's walk you through that. This is future track radar tonight. You'd see a little snow band moves into the area overnight tonight. And then during the afternoon hours tomorrow, we have a secondary band of snow showers move through. It will be light, but it will also be very windy. And that means wind chills. This is the wind chill tomorrow afternoon. This is going to feel like nine degrees with north winds gusting to 30 miles per hour. Accumulations? Well, let's take a look at our future track snowfall. We're looking at about a dusting to maybe an inch, inch and a half across the metro region with higher amounts off into northwestern Arkansas, southwest Missouri. Maybe as far west as Muskogee and Tahlequah could see one to three inches of snowfall. But Tulsa, Highway 75 into the east would be the heavier amounts if we consider a dusting to an inch heavy. It's really not going to be, but it is our first accumulating snowfall of the season. So in that regard, it's pretty significant. And I think the just the fact how cold it's going to be tomorrow is going to be really captive to our minds tomorrow with those strong north winds. So here comes the cold air. You can see it diving into uh, northern Nebraska right now. This is going to continue to pull south with time. So by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, it is going to be Oh, so cold with temperatures dropping into the 20s throughout the afternoon hours with scattered sh snow showers during the afternoon between about lunchtime and three o'clock. We'll see scattered snow showers move through the metro, but Sunday improving conditions. Temperatures in the lower 40s for highs with partly cloudy skies. So really cold Saturday, still chilly on Sunday. Right now, right now with Wade's RV weather camera network, we have mostly cloudy skies and it is a uh, cool I mean, it's not too bad. Temperatures mid 50s above normal for this time of year, but still feels cool. Southeast wind at 10 miles per hour. That south wind's going to swing to the north and it will again be quite strong during the day tomorrow and the sunset at 532. Again, we're gaining a daylight, a minute of daylight each evening every single day now until June. And this morning's low, chilly 33 tomorrow morning. We're going to be in the 20s and 30s across the area. Not much of a warm up. All these highs that you see tomorrow during the day are going to occur after midnight. So highs after midnight tonight, one of those topsy turvy days where temps, high temps occur after midnight and then falling throughout the remainder of the day. So highs again after midnight tonight down to the 20s during the day tomorrow down to 20 by Sunday morning, 43 Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon 50s on Monday, 60 on Tuesday, colder for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, and then trying to rebound as we head into next weekend with temperatures mid 40s by next Sunday, maybe even the 60s as we kind of go on that roller coaster ride in the extended. We'll have much more on that snow potential when we come back.